Now, a number of commuters for the second day running are stranded at the Wa Saula Bole Highway following torrential rains in the area that broke the banks of the Dole River. The only option for the stranded commuters uh, are two canoes that can ferry them from one end to the other uh, for 10 Ghana CDs as a fare, excluding luggage charges. Upper West Regional Correspondent Rafiq Salam, who travelled to the area, reports that there is spontaneous increase in transport fares as passengers who wish to travel along the route need to do a detour of an extra 200 kilometres to reach their destinations. The 12-hour Sunday rain came in torrents. Its intensity has never been seen in the enclave for decades. The effect is catastrophic and of monumental proportion. The Dolly River, that has not been desilted for over two decades, broke its banks as a result of the violent flash floods and cut the highway into two equal halves. Maze of commuters got stranded on both sides of the highway. The well-compacted gravel seal bitumen was completely washed off, leaving only the skeleton of the concrete bridge. There was no human casualties, but farms closer to the waterways were destroyed. Passengers wishing to continue their journey only have one option, two canoes to ferry them from one end to the other at 10 Ghana cities, excluding late charges. I am Karim Alud. What I'm going to do is business to eat with my mother and my brothers. So it's very difficult to cross. So where is the vehicle for you to pass with? No vehicle. We are using uh, just some small ship to cross to Bole. A ship to, from where to where? Bole. Ship? Uh -huh. Where is the ship? There is no ship there. Thank you, thank you very much. Are you come seen? However, uh, if you are faint hearted and have phobia for the water well, well, well. that is about the size of half a football field, you have to take a detour of about 200 kilometers from either Sola to Sudankin and Tachima or the Bayvesa. Communication lines were also destroyed by the flash floods. And so this is the fiber cable, and they are also trying to retrieve the cable uh, to enable them to restore the lines of these communication services here. So you can see that one of them is from Borofo. Master, tell me, what's your name? I'm Emmanuel Barberi. Okay, what are you doing now? We are trying to restore the link. Mm -hmm. This link has affected so many uh, sites. So yesterday we were here, but we couldn't uh, restore it due to the water content. It's today that we came back and we have access to the cable, and we are now trying to lay the cable across so that we do temporary work and later on we come and do the normal work. Savannah Regional Minister Said Jibril Mwazu, accompanied by his opposite number from the Upper West Region, Dr. Hafiz Bin Sali, visited the affected area to get first hand information with a view to fixing it. Somewhere in 1993, and since then, we've been doing spot improvements on the road, but uh, the major works have not been done. But so far, we've seen that uh, the level of uh, destruction is something that we have to take seriously and also to make sure that uh, we get the road more travel very, very soon. Ourself. But even before coming here, we had made contacts with the road minister, the chief director, the chief executive of the Ghana Highway Authority to ensure that we get a speedy remedy to what has happened. The Upper West region is severely hit. The incident has however resulted in spontaneous increment of transport fares, specifically persons traveling to Kumasi or Accra. The Ghana Private Road Transport Union, GPRTU, has upped the transport fares from Wa to Kumasi by 40 Ghana cities. Alaji Nuh Mahama is a senior industrial relations officer of the Upper West Branch of the GPRTU and he defends the increment. Everybody, we have added 40 Ghana cities to the 140 making it 180 Ghana cities. Don't you think that is too high a price? In fact, we are very, very sympathetic with our transport tech, I mean, our traveling public. Even though we were intending to increase it from 140 to 200, realizing the, the cost of the fuel and the distance, 
But we said we have to deliver some potato with them, so we reduced it to 40 instead of 50. For the VIP buses traveling to Accra, they have only done an increment of 20 Ghana cities. Oli Rahman Salifu is the war manager of VIP. So the 20 city is not too high. If we look at it, the, the 20 city increment is not up to 20 gallons of fuel. And that place, looking at it, about a 90 mass abridgely. That's abridgely 90 mass is freely. So due to that, if we don't add anything, you can't be able to cover. And, and there can be a, a, a type best, or there can be a different distance in their car. Passengers are, however, not happy with the increment in the transport fares. <laughs> Both. The long journey, one. The, the increments, two. And the time. Hmm. So one, there's an increment. Though the journey will be stressful. I, I think that that's the thing that we are going to face. will be stressful because in as much as we have been passing the other road, uh, we might not be stressful. But this one, the road is, is a bit longer. From the look of things, it appears the highways will not be fixed permanently in the next few days. What government need to do, however, to assuage the pain and frustration of commuters is to create a diversion to enable them have easy access from one end of the highway to the other. Several vehicles are parked here, and also their mates or driving mates are looking for passengers. So you can see that they are calling on passengers to come and join their vehicles for them uh, to move into the Upper West region. Reporting for Joy News, Rafik Salam, Goli, Savannah region.